hacking Minecraft secrets, hacks and tricks that everyone pretends are fake so you never find out about them. But I'm going to prove are actually 100% real. Watch us till the end to learn what Minecraft is hiding. Did you know that if you give a dolphin enough raw fish, uh -huh. they'll lead you to the nearest underwater structure? Wait, seriously? This bedrock and Don't show me where the treasure is! Now we need to spot ourselves a dolphin. Aha! Coming down, man. All right, I've got some beautiful raw coffee. All right, we feed him. Okay, is he gonna do anything? He's swimming into the side of the island here. Yeah, no, there is definitely no treasure there. Maybe I have to feed him a bit more. All right, one, two, three, four. I mean, he's got particles. Wait, I can't feed him anymore? Okay, he's on the move, guys. The dolphin is going. Bro, I need to know, where is the treasure? I'm getting to think he, he isn't gonna show us. I can't feed him anymore, guys. See, every time I try and click him, I start eating the fish myself. So he's definitely taking us. Wait, I think this is it. He's taken us to this underwater ruins. Have a look at this. And then our dolphin stops here. And boom, check it out. We should have some treasure in here. And we got a blue chest. Good job, Mr. Dolphin. Look at him. He's so proud of himself. He's like, yeah, I did that. Let's say you don't have access to COD. What are you going to do? All right, we need to locate ourselves another dolphin. Go ahead. Feed him one. It doesn't work. Guys, I literally only had to... Oh, no. There's two. I dropped the salmon. Oh, where did our dolphin go? Okay, is this it? I think he's on the move. Okay, yep. Yeah, we cannot feed him any more salmon. That only took two. And I think he's leading us towards this shipwreck. Okay, that is crazy, guys. There is no need for you to go and explore stuff yourself. Look at him. He's swimming down to the shipwreck. And now there should be a chest of loot in here. Did he do a good job? Yes, he did. Buried treasure map here, guys. Wait a minute. The island we started on has treasure? Now that is what I'm talking about. If you tame three or more cats and you go to okay. sleep, those cats will bounce on your bed Aww, before sleeping while you fight you. You can actually get infinite splash potions in Minecraft. So Excuse you take me. two regular what? potions into a cauldron and then one shorter splash potion and then you collect the potion out of a cauldron using a regular glass bottle. Okay. Okay. You'll for some reason get a bunch of fresh potions. You can no place the way. weirdest things on top of candles. You place down a cauldron, you grab the potion you want. Now, the one they were using in the video was Potion of Night Vision, so we're gonna test with that first. And then went one and two, but with the final uh, cauldron spot here, they used a splash potion rather than the normal potion variant. So let's give it a go. Bang. All right, we filled it up to the top. Now we're gonna switch into survival mode because that's what matters, guys. Otherwise, you're just creative, you may as well get them out of the creative inventory. Let's go ahead and test this, all right? So we'll get all this stuff out of the inventory. Bang, there's nothing. Else, all we've got is our glass bottles. Three, two, one, bang! Yo, check this out! I actually got a splash potion! And then we can go ahead and get splash potions all the way here, but you're probably gonna want to fill this up. So what you could do is place a dripstone above this guy. So grab ourselves a dripstone and then grab ourselves a cauldron. We'll keep infinitely refilling up with potions. So if we go ahead and line that up, we can place our pointed dripstone here, coming down to our cauldron, put up the sides, fill that with water. And now this cauldron will infinitely fill up over and over again, meaning you'll get infinite splash potions. Alrighty, what secrets being revealed? Build next. We're digging into the ground, chucking in some gray carpet, and now tiger block. Ooh, is this some sort of redstone hack? Okay, we're jumping in between them, and now... Whoa, what is that giant command? Huh? An armor stand, but what's going on with his arm? He's like pointing to the moon. He's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe this is the armor stand dance. Oh, we got two of them, and we're giving them spy glasses. I am very confused. What secret is this? If you place two spy glasses next to each other, what are you going to get? Uh, I honestly don't know. Okay, now we're pushing. Oh, I know! I know, that looks just like a pair of binoculars. Oh my goodness. This is how you get binoculars in Minecraft. I mean, you won't be able to use them, but they actually look like binoculars. That is a really cool secret. And we chuck a button in between and... Oh! That is beautiful, but how am I going to get into my world without commands? I want to build this in my survival world. Luckily for you guys, I spent the last four hours trying to figure out how we can get binoculars in Minecraft with no commands. And I figured it out. So you guys can thank me later. All you're going to need is two trapdoors placed down like so. Then we're going to grab two oak fences and put them in front of those trapdoors. Now, I know this looks nothing like the video, but just trust me here, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and crouch, and you want to place any kind of block above your trapdoor, two blocks high, and build this out one on either side so it's three blocks long and one block up here on the right then we're gonna place an armor stand in the center and you want to crouch and click on that armor stand once so he switches to the second straight position now we're going to grab ourselves a piston facing towards that armor stand and activate that 
Now we're going to go ahead and build up one, two more blocks, and we're going to build out one on either side, so it's three blocks wide, and then we're going to place a cobblestone wall on this left block like so. So it looks a little bit weird at the moment, but hang with me, guys. Now we're going to place an armor stand here as well, and again, you want to crouch and click that armor stand once to put him in that first straight position. Now we're going to grab ourselves a piston and activate that. Now what we need to do, guys, is get rid of those pistons like so, and we're going to grab our spy glasses and place one in each of our armor stand's hand. Now, everything that is cobblestone, we're just going to destroy it. Let's get rid of that wall, get rid of these blocks here, guys, so that the armor stand falls down and then break both of those. So now you can see these armor stands have fallen down and already it kind of looks like binoculars. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is you want to go ahead and build up one piston behind both of these armor stands and activate that so it pushes them into these fence blocks here. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and you want to be very careful. You want to destroy these two fences without destroying the armor stand. So we're going to go one and two. Perfect. Now, just grab whatever block you want to be the table. Now, they use quartz stairs here, guys, so we're going to do the exact same thing. Basically, you need to use a stair block, otherwise it's going to glitch out the armor stands. So you're going to place two stairs upside down like so above our armor stands, and then we need to push these down using a triple piston system. So you're going to need one, two, three pistons on either side facing downwards. We're going to activate the first lot of pistons, bang, then the second lot of pistons, and finally, guys, that third layer of pistons. And and boom, check it out, guys. You got yourself some very awesome looking binoculars, which we can finish off by using that polished blackstone button. I'm going to place this right on top of this block. And boom, beautiful binoculars. Now, you might be happy with those armor stands being there, and you might not. Personally, I am not, and it's really easy to get rid of them. Grab yourself a splash potion of invisibility, and three, two, one, throw it down. And boom, just like the video, we've got ourselves these binoculars. Well, saving yourself from a fall with a water bucket is nothing new. And if you ask me, it's been done to death. I so, agree. how about we try to get so a bit more creative for our MLG save All right, and turn what to are potions instead? No joke, potions? using something like a slow falling potion, uh -huh. we're capable to make a safe landing from a dangerous what? fall. Yo, and to pull this off, the technique works? isn't too different from what it is and for the water bucket. Water since it all so hinges it on pressing right click at the right time. Start. And if you do that, your legs will thank hey, you. Hey, I like that. Let's give this a go. We're going to sell a ton of splash potion of slow falling because I'm not expecting to get this first try. Let's go. Three, two, one. Jump and then throw it down. Last second. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Okay, you got to click it sooner than the ground. Take two. Jump. <laughs> throw. <laughs> I did it, guys. Yeah. I saved myself. Second try is not bad. So, guys, if you didn't see that, I threw the splash potion about, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five blocks before I hit the ground. And then because you got slow falling here, guys, you're not going to take any of that fall damage. I think that's a great way to do the MLG. And water doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Who knew that this potion was so good? Now, where are we headed? Ooh, a village. All right, we're going to learn some secret about villages, maybe. All right, I'm listening. Here we go. There's an iron golem chilling over there. Oh, we're building an iron golem? I mean, I don't think that is a secret. Most people know you can build an iron golem like that. Hey, are those iron nuggets and a spider? What do we need those for? Wait, did he just feed the iron golem an iron nugget and there were hearts? No, wait, what are they doing? Huh? Oh my goodness, that is adorable. It's a baby iron golem. I had no idea that was a real mom in Minecraft. Look at that thing, hit them all. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm going to spawn our own one in here. Let's go ahead. Bang, bang, iron blocks, car pumpkin on the top. And now we just got to feed them some iron nuggets. Excuse me? Guys, look at this. I'm clicking my mouse and he isn't eating my iron nuggets. Chow them down. Take him down. Like, do I drop him on him? He's not eating them. I don't understand. I want, how do I get the baby iron golem unless baby iron golem isn't real? Have we been clickbaited? No! You cannot get my hopes up that much and then ruin them like that. We are exposing this clickbaiter. I did some Googling and this is what I found. The breedable mob add-on, which basically allows you to breed a bunch of different mobs together to get baby versions. It's a really cute add-on and I would highly recommend downloading it. But the thing that was important here is if we come all the way to the bottom, number 25, iron golem, you can breed with an iron nugget, which I think is exactly how they did it. So let's download it and give it a go. So now we're just going to click the little pencil icon next to our world and we want to scroll it down to where it says behavior packs and we've got this here the breedable mod add-on we're going to click it and click activate and now let's load it to the world and get ourselves that adorable baby iron golem i'm not letting this go all right here we go we've loaded straight to the world all right mr iron golem chow down here's your iron nugget boom there we go we got our hearts let's jump over to our next one boom and here we go baby iron golem i want it Oh my goodness, this thing is so cute! Look at him walking around like an absolute Chad, man. He's an absolute boss. We chucked out a spider. Let's see him beat it up. 
Yeah! For those of you who have made automatic farms, I'm sure you know just how intimidating I this know, looks. I know, right? That uses so I mean, much after bone all, meal. If you don't have a skeleton farm, then getting bone meal is not exactly an easy exactly. task, especially in large bulks. But even though you might be seeing the particle effects happen, uh -huh. don't worry. The bone meal's not actually getting used unless there's a no. plant next to it. You're Otherwise, kidding, Otherwise, it's right? just a false flag. Why you would don't the particles be there? I don't believe that. So let's chuck down a dispenser and run a little bit of an experiment. We're going to run out some redstone, and then we're going to have a redstone clock. One, two, three, four repeaters back to back with redstone in the corners. We'll activate that by placing a redstone torch and breaking it really quickly. Boom, there we go. So as you guys can see, it's activating the dispenser over and over again. Now we're going to put some dirt in the front, grab out our hoe, hoe that down, and we're going to... We've got 64 bone meal I'm gonna put in the dispenser. And you can see, look at that. The particles are going. It's shooting at the bone meal, at least in my opinion. And okay, we'll leave it a bit and we'll sh I'll show you here, guys, that that bone meal will have gone down. Three, two, one. Yo, what? It still says 64? It's actually true. Wait, we put down our wheat seeds and there it goes. It uses it up. Okay, and so we've got 61 bone meal in there. We'll leave it for a bit longer. We'll even destroy the crops. No! It only uses bone meal when they're across there. Oh my goodness! I had no idea about this. It's like a little secret. Even though the particles are going, you still get to keep the bone meal. Nice! Five secret recipes added in 1.17 that Mojang Whoa, told me. Alright, I'm One, listening. What are we going? Spectral arrows. Spectral arrows were added those? in the 1.16 no. nether update where you could only get them from Piglin Bartering. Exactly. With the addition of the glow squid, Mojang added a few new recipes for the glow Hey, inside. that is One so of these was dope. the ability to finally craft those spectral now. arrows. Two, glow lichen. Another one of the recipes added in for the glowing sack was in fact one of the new decoration blocks. Ah, oh, well that makes These sense, guys. I mean, it's cases, basically just glowing vines. You add by the glowing sack, sack, that makes sense. We're in four leather and diamond horse armor. Instead of having uh -huh. to go hunting for you can craft pyramid, horse armor? You can now craft horse armor with seven leather and a H pattern. Really? Building on top of that, no way. the smithing table was added in 1.16, a lot of the community complained about its lack of purpose in the game. That is true. So secretly in 1.17, Mojang what? added the hidden feet. You're gonna upgrade horse armor using a smithing? Table? And five gilded blackstone. I find that Many a little players bit were frustrated at the, the difficulty of obtaining sense. gilded blackstone, so to help uh -huh. make it more attainable for players, Mojang secretly added a crafting recipe oh, using eight gold it? nuggets okay, and no. one blackstone. And down goes the crafting table. Let's test out some of these recipes. Which one first? You know what? I want to see the leather horse armor. So what was it like that? Hey, look at that. Okay, so that's the real one. The leather works. We got the vines. We'll add that to some glow ink sack. The glow lichen didn't work. Hold up. That didn't work. Wait, let's try the the gilded blackstone. Wait, that's not working either. What? The first one worked, but these aren't. Hold up, we'll try the, the spectral arrow. We've got the arrows around. Nothing! Oh my god. Guys, they chucked in one actually working crafting recipe and put it in with a bunch of working ones to clickbait us. Oh, I don't like these sneaky clickbaiters. Let's ruin his career. He added in some crafting recipes. If you're watching my videos, you already know the drill. He changed the code of Minecraft by using a data pack. If we type into the chat slash data pack enable 1.17 crafting and hit enter, now, check it out, guys. Look at this. We've got all the crafting recipes he claimed to have. The spectral arrows. We've got ourselves the beautiful gilded blackstone. Bang. And, of course, the glow lichen. Boom. Yep, it's as simple as that. Just go ahead and use the data pack and you'll be good. Now, for our next Minecraft secret. Oh, that's actually all the time we've got for today. So, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.